Hello, hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Um, let's see, what are we going to do today? Today I am making chili, right? I'm going to do chili and cornbread. Um, I actually eat my chili with crackers, but I saw someone do this the other day and it just made me want it. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're doing chili and cornbread. Now with my chili, I hate a boring chili, so... I do a couple of other things that most people probably don't do, but hey, it's good. If you want to try it out, try it out. So here we go. So the first thing I want to do is just to try to cut some time. I've already mixed my cornbread. Didn't do a homemade nothing. Just used two boxes of Jiffy, three eggs, plenty of sugar because I do like sweet cornbread. We're going to go ahead and put that in the So here we go right here. I just sprayed my pan with cooking oil, put it in here. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. So we will have that going while we do this chili, right? All right, so I got my pan hot already. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of oil in my pan. Okay, and you're probably saying, what makes it so good? What you somebody, what's making it so different? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Italian sausage and ground meat. Um, I have some sabanera peppers and onions and bell peppers. Also, I am going to add beans. Now, I'm doing a shortcut on this, so y'all. Just try it out. I promise you, you won't regret it. I am going to put some black beans and I'm going to do some ranch style beans. <laughs> now, do they go in chili? Yes, go whatever you want to put in your chili, put in your chili. So that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing we need to do is to start browning our meat. So let's see here. So what I got right here, I got my ground meat. And I have it in a Ziploc bag because whenever I get stuff, I like to separate it. So you you can use however much ground meat you want to use, but this is what I'm going to use. And excuse me, guys. No, I like to cook in my pot. That's how I like to cook. You wash your hands. Okay, so we have some brown meat in here. Hmm. I'm just gonna break it up just a little bit, not much. Just a little bit because I want it to kind of stick to the pan. You know how it gets that good stuff on it? That's what I want. So. So I have that broken up. And let's see. The next thing I want to do is the Italian sausage. So I only got a small thing of Italian sausage. So. And this is like right out the pack, guys. So this Italian sausage. I'm going to put it right in here. Let's break that up a little bit. And we can go ahead and fry them together. Okay, so we have Italian sausage and we have ground meat. Now, I actually 
like to use like a lean chunk or whatever, but use whatever you like. Let's see, I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing over here. just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of Tony, Tony saturated on my meat. I'm going to use a little bit of this flavor gods, everything spicy. I'm going to use a little bit of that. Just to give my meat a little flavor. Make sure we cook that real good. And I'm going to bring y'all over here in just a moment. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Let's so. so just a little part of my meat, my ground meat was still... A little frozen but that's okay so let's see here I'm gonna bring y'all over here just so you can see what I'm doing okay so right now I have in the pot I have my Italian sausage and I have my ground meat and we're gonna let that simmer and brown real good so that's what we're gonna do and I need to let that sit there until we get that all done with some water. So today, I'm not drinking my coffee. I know I usually drink my coffee, my cappuccino, but I already had cappuccino today and I need to watch how much I'm drinking. So we're gonna stick with water today. But it has to be cold and it has to have ice. <laughs> Let's see how this meat is doing. And what I want to do, I'm going to let it brown enough. I want it to brown enough before I start adding my garlic. The first thing I'm going to do is add my garlic in here. I'm going to add some garlic and I'm going to add some diced onions and sabanero peppers. That's what I'm going to do. But I want to make sure my meat is brown enough first before I start doing all that. Because I don't want to burn my onions and stuff, so that's what we're going to do. trying to figure out this YouTube thing right <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how can I cut this can um, my videos because of course I want to show you how to cook something not how to mix some stuff together and it's still raw I have to make sure I cook it and of course with chili you want to let it simmer for a long time I mean not a long time but you want to make sure it's cooked good right let the seasonings and everything get in so and right now I have it on a medium heat. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so I can get this meat cooking. I think 
think this uh, with a, this actually is my first time doing this with Italian sausage. So we're gonna see, but in my mind it already tastes good, so it's gonna taste good. In my mind it already tastes good, so I have no doubts that it's gonna be really, really good. But I want this meat just to cook a little bit more before I add those onions and stuff in here. Just a little bit more. So, guys, remember to make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, Why that's simmering. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. What I'm trying to do right now is to get my subscription subscribers up. Once I reach a thousand, then I will able to be I will be able to do this live right, and I don't have to do a recording and then do all the uploading and all that stuff. So, y'all get the video. If you find anything of value, like it. You know, like it. Um, also, visit my Blessed Kitchen Facebook page. There you can like it and share it and show others, right? So y'all show me some love, right? Show me some love. So just make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little, I think it's a bell or something that's right there. Make sure you do that so whenever I upload something else, you'll get notified, okay? So this meat is just coming along, y'all. It's coming along. We're gonna let it fry just a little bit longer. It's this piece that I have in here that was still frozen a little bit. I think that's what the that's what my issue is, right? So, it's fried pretty good. So, right now what I'm going to do is put in, I have some small onions and seven arrow peppers. And that's what I'm going to put in now. So, I don't know about you, but my chili, I do like for my chili to have a little kick to it, right? And then also, I didn't feel like cutting up garlic today, so I'm going to use some minced garlic, right? Improvise, improvise. So I'm going to put a spoon of minced garlic in here. So we're going to let this all just cook up, get all them good flavors in there. Let the meat keep finish browning, right? Get these onions and peppers saute. I'm going to bring y'all over here so y'all can see this also. So I'm going to bring y'all over here so y'all can see this. Let's sit here. Let's get you over here. So right now we got our onions and garlic and sabanera peppers with our ground meat and our Italian sausage. And we're just going to brown this up a little bit until we get it where we want it, right? And then also, let me go back. I'll show you the, see we got the cornbread in there cooking. So... We doing good, guys. We doing good. We doing some good timing. Some good timing. So let's see here. I probably should have brought y'all over just a little bit closer, but I didn't. So let that simmer a little bit more. And then we're gonna add, start adding some more good stuff in there. Y'all, that water is so good. It's so good, it's so good. All of 
this just brown it up y'all it smells good in here it smells good huh baby yeah. <laughs> did y'all hear that he gonna disguise his voice it smells good here yeah. <laughs> Now my other little, excuse me, my other little secret ingredient is I'm going to use this chili, some chili garlic sauce. Now you, if you watched any of my other videos, I've used it before. I just love, love, love it because it, it gives you the garlic. You can never have enough garlic. It gives you that chili sauce that I like. And it gives it a little kick so as you might have learned I like everything to have a little kick to it it doesn't taste good if it doesn't have that little spice so I try to make sure it's not too spicy right Edric right. <laughs> so but chili come on tell you chili is supposed to have a spice Wash your hands. Make sure I'm putting any spicy stuff in my eyes. So, what I'm gonna do is take one, two, three. I did three spoons of this chili garlic sauce. You can find it basically anywhere: Walmart, Publix, wherever. sausages like I don't know what made me want to put the Italian sausage in there but yeah I'm serious I dream about putting Italian sausage in chili so yeah that's the kind of dreams I have so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some tomato paste right and honestly y'all I have never seen a recipe for chili, so if, if you're saying, oh, I don't make chili like that, oh, well, that's you, that's me. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen a recipe for chili. I just, you know, I've tasted it before, and in my mind, I just have, I'm just like, oh, I can make that, so I already know what to put in it. So you might be saying tomato paste don't go in chili, but tomato paste go in Tamika's chili. Okay. So I use just a little small can of it. Get it all mixed up in this meat, y'all. up in this meat. Okay, if you want to see that, I'll let y'all see that too. I want to make sure y'all see every step. So here, we have the tomato paste, we have the chili garlic sauce all in there and it's all simmered up, right? So now, I'm going to add a few more things in here that you probably say, Tamika, they don't go in chili, but hey, remember, this is Tamika's chili. So, I hate a boring chili. So, I got to do my own thing. Let's turn this down just a little bit. It's 
So the next thing I'm going to put in here is I got some Rotel tomatoes. Put Rotel tomatoes in there. And the next thing I want to do is, in my mind, this is what I see. I'm going to put some, just some regular crushed tomato and basil. And I just put the whole can in there. I'm going to rinse just a little bit. you probably seen your mom do that. Rinse the can just a little bit. Don't want to waste all that crushed tomatoes in there. Another little thing I want to put in here. Yeah, y'all gonna say, Tamika, you messing up the chili. You're gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in the chili. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Stir that up. And I'm gonna put one more spoon of this, of this garlic sauce. One more spoon. Something in my spirit just told me to put it in there. <laughs> so that's all we're gonna do. Just a little bit of chicken broth in it, not much. Just a little bit. There we go. So we got this chili going, y'all. So now I'm gonna do my beans. So I got a can of black beans, rinse them off real good. Yeah, go ahead and put that in there. All right. And then I went ahead and I got two things, two small cans of ranch style beans. ranch style beans. I know most people I think they do what? Kidney beans or whatever? Pinto beans. But I like ranch style beans. So what I'm going to do is because I like to rinse my cans I'm going to pour a little bit of this chicken broth in the can just so I can make sure I get all my juices out. All of my juices. Make sure I get all of my juices out of there. Then I'm gonna pour it into the other can. All right? I don't like to waste nothing. I want to make sure I get all my juices, and then we're gonna pour this in here. Okay? There we go. There we go. So now the 
it's time for me to put all my seasons in here, guys. That's what makes the chili. The seasoning. I love my Tony Sash, right? But I'm not going to do too much because I use the soy sauce and I used a little bit of chicken um, broth. So it's already, it should already have a lot of seasoning in it. Um, of course, I'm going to use some cayenne pepper. We got that in there. And then my husband told me, he was like, well, baby. Did you buy a chili kit? No. I'm going to season, do my own chili. Season my own stuff. So I got some chili powder. And I'm going to put as much as I want. So. And we got some paprika. I'm going to put some paprika in here. And I'm going to put a little bit of this flavor guards garlic. Yes, because I never have enough garlic. And then I have a little bit of, as my husband say, cumin. Because <laughs> I found it coming. Got a little bit of cumin. Yeah, I guess. I guess I need to open it. I tell you, I don't really use this too much, right? Let's open it up. Put a little bit of that in there. And I want to put a little bit of Italian zest from Flavor Gods. Got the basil and, the, you know, oregano, all that stuff in there. So it looks like I need to reorder. Yeah, I get to reorder some. And then of course, I like this new seasoning by Flavor Guards, habanero. It say habanero, I thought habanero is supposed to be spicy, but it's not spicy at all. And then the last thing, it's crushed red pepper. You probably said, Tamika, you already put cayenne pepper. You are, yeah. Yes, I am. So let's stir this up. check my cornbread. Ooh, cornbread looking good. The next thing I want to put in here is, now you know I put some onion and sabanero peppers and garlic and I did all that at first and I sauteed it and everything, but I like to take big chunks of onion and bell pepper, red, orange, yellow bell pepper, and I like to put that right at the end because I like for it to be all in my chili, right? I am an onion bell pepper person. I love, love, love. I'm not, if I don't have onion and bell pepper, I don't cook. So. So this. Put all of this. And for some reason, I feel like I need to put some more Tony. <laughs> now, I know some people like uh, for their chili, right, to have like a sweet and a spicy. Right, Hendrick? Yeah. So, this just came to my mind. 
I'm going to put a little bit of sweet chili sauce in there. Just to give it a little hint of sweetness. Just a little bit. And this is something that I just bought from Walmart or Publix. Just the Panda Express sweet chili. So it will have the seasoning. It will have a spice. And it have a little taste of sweet chili. A little sweetness in there. And then that's it, y'all. That's it. We got the chili on, y'all. The chili is on. So, I guess I can show y'all how it look, right? Let's see. Let's bring you guys over here. Let you see this chili. So... I don't know why I put the top on and I was bringing y'all over here. So this is our chili. This is our beans, our ranch style beans, our black beans. We put a little bit more onion and bell pepper. All of those great seasonings that I use. It looks good, y'all. It looks good. I never taste my food. Baby, you want to um, do a little taste so you can tell me how the seasoning tastes? Y'all, I'm not a taste tester. I'm not, I am not a taste tester. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> what I'm going to do, and I know my husband's going to be mad, but I'm just going to take a little bit out of here just so he can taste the juices in it. See, just to taste the little juices. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Look, he did speak, y'all. Welcome to Blessed Kitchen. Hey, you want to taste it? Blow it. Wait a minute. Do I need some more seasoning? Mm -mm. Okay. So, I, I think he wanted to dance, y'all, but he didn't. Is it a little spicy, baby? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's spicy. So, that's always good with chili, right? It's always good. So, I'll turn it back around so you guys can see it one more time. One more time. So this is our chili, guys. This is our chili. And let's put this top back on. Let's see how a cornbread is looking. Ooh. Let's check this cornbread, y'all. Look like I need to clean this oven. Ooh, this cornbread looking good. Let's go ahead and take this out the oven. Let's take this out. And we're going to sit this right here. So, we have a beautiful pan, a sweet cornbread, and we have our chili, right? So, we are all done. I want to let that simmer for a little while, and I am not. Like I said, I still haven't figured out how to do these... Um, videos where I can cut. I've even used YouTube to try to learn, but I'm not a quitter. So I will learn. And I will get better. So um, again, I thank each of you for taking this time with me walking through this chili. Like I said, um, follow me on Facebook at Blessed Kitchen. I will have it in a bowl, plated, whatever, so you can see it um, a little bit later once it's done. Um, remember, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand, y'all. So, recommend me. I need some people on here. I want to be able to do this live instead of recording. So, anyway, I hope each of you have a blessed day. And I hope y'all enjoy whatever you're eating today. Y'all have a good day.